Hello, welcome to Eagles Point. This is Justin, and I just would like to take a moment to introduce you to what Eagles Point is, as well as crossover culture, what it means, what it's all about, what it stands for. It's primarily a platform where a few of us are able to express our heart, our burdens, our passions, uh, various types of inspiration or encouragement or challenges that we have that that God has given to us and that we'd like to share with the larger community and also some of the different activities that we're involved in or that we may do from time to time all this independent of any organizations or groups that we may be actually affiliated or associated with so this gives us some differentiation because of some of our connectivity with other people and things, and sometimes those things are expressed online. Um, this allows people that we know near and far, especially those that we don't see in person much or are able to engage directly uh, very frequently, if at all, allows them to see a little bit more who we are just as individuals, who, who we are, what, what makes us who we are and, and what we do and, and where we're at in our journey. And um, that that proves especially helpful because of the sensitivity of some of the of the of the just the nature the serious nature of the work that we're involved in sometimes with organizations um, people may know what that organization all about is all about and what they do what they stand for but sometimes it's nice to know something a little bit extra about the individuals that are a part of those organizations or groups and so this gives the opportunity and the freedom to be able to express uh, a lot of various things that have come through our heart and through our life and just where we are in our journey. So my hope is that whatever you see on here, that you would personally find encouraging and inspiring and challenging, that you would be able to see and um, perhaps um, find and discover things about your own heart, the call in your life, or the draw or longing and yearning within you that you may have. Um, for God or for serving people for for doing something more or significant or different than where than than what you're doing for being in a different place internally not necessarily always just externally or vocationally but just internally where are you with your with your heart where are you in in the journey of your soul what can, what is the condition of the garden of your heart and what is what is God calling you to what does he think what does he think of 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 where you're at and where 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 do you perceive that he's he's calling you or drawing you to so we pray that that there is something that can be very encouraging who knows maybe even life-changing as sometimes it only takes one word or or one simple truth or principle or vantage point uh, for us to be able to have just kind of a maybe a revolutionary illumination on something that that may have been already there before us that we never saw quite in in such a clear light before or maybe something that we've never even seen that has been right to our side or right over here that we didn't even realize was there and until our eyes and our attention was turned to it whatever you are in your journey wherever you are in your heart whatever you've gone through whatever you've experienced whatever you're currently going through right now whatever your condition is whether you've had a lot of successes you've had challenges failures you've had people do you wrong you've done a lot of wrong yourself what whatever wherever you find yourself on the spectrum my prayer is that your heart will come to a place of openness and willingness to god to his will to his way and that you would find that place of surrender at the foot of the cross that you would see that jesus didn't go through everything he went through to die and raise again for nothing and he didn't do it just for someone but not for you just for this person, but not that person. That the sacrifice of the Messiah was available, the power of that, of that cleansing and that forgiveness of sin and opening to a pure, complete relationship with God is right there. If you've never experienced that before, or if you have come to that place, but maybe you're not experiencing the fullness of the grace that that walk with God entails and offers you, my prayer is that somehow God will use his word and his spirit to speak to you, to open your heart, to soften it, 
to heal it, to restore you, to mend you from the inside out. And that you will never be the same. Not because of a person or a video or a post, but because of a specific encounter between you and the Holy Spirit. I bless you in the name of Jesus. Feel free to share a comment, a question. Be glad to interact with you whenever we do get the chance and the time to respond. God bless you.